gonna have to go across the country to to find a dude and talk to him and then come back and tell you what he said I like this quest yeah. Yes, there's a lot of that for household now. You have to go all the way to like some place. It's not even yes. like you can't fast travel there or anything. Uh, you have to walk like for forever. That was the worst with uh, was it Silipund and Punabi? Oh God! I, that, they were in the middle of nowhere, and I had to go there three times because I forgot that there was Silipund that I needed to go to. I walked past it. Oh, that one. I tried doing that with my first, my very first character, which was, you know, like the dumbest character I could have thought of. It was just like a Breton with every single, uh, you know, like major and minor specialty I could have. It was just all magic. <laughs> I was like, this will work. You know? Yeah, you would, uh, you hope, but then all of a sudden you're running around with a dagger, trying to figure out how to kill stuff. That's always the problem with the uh, with mages. You got to level them up before they're any good every game it seems like yeah, I've it's been one of those jelly things yeah those bull netches at least the one that I, fought, that I saw was a bull I tried to fight one once <laughs> did you did you win? I got raped oh my god it fires like these green things these green like slime balls at you and it, one hit was like half my health so I tried Where to heal. To uh, said west. Ah, this way. Oh, I didn't know they fired green stuff. Yeah, like, they I thought they just like stung you. No, and then of course because it flies, I couldn't hit it with my sword, so I was <laughs> trying to cast like firebolt at it, but it did not work. All right, just do west. God, like. The improvements this mod makes is so... It's, it's insane. Like, Nick's hounds. I think they're green, but they're definitely, like, houndish. But, yeah, like, I, I tried playing this game the first time. I was like, God, there has to be a mod that makes this look better. <laughs> and I, I went through about a million of them. And this was before they had the 2.0 of this overhaul mod. Ah. Uh. So like 1.5 or whatever, and they wanted you to like follow these really complex directions. Oh yeah, I tried. I modded. Jeez, I probably got about 20 mods going at once, and it was insane. Like I don't know anything about, you know, how to how to load them in the right order or anything like that. So you know, I I was just going as I thought it would work. And I just got a ton of errors and that kind of stuff. I don't see any herd over here. So I'm just just going to go away. Because <laughs> there are a lot of enemies down there. Yeah, I am. Um, it took me forever to do it. And I was like, alright, let's play. You know, when I got mm -hmm. done. And then I was like, you know what? I spent all this time modding it. I don't even feel like playing it anymore. <laughs> no, I, no, if you spend like four hours trying to mod it then all of a sudden you open it up and you're like, I'm tired now. I think I'm done with Morrowinds for the day. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is awesome. I love this this overhaul. Yeah, and it came in a pretty nice package. Like, oh, it just geez, it did. Just makes all the difference when so you're trying to get it to look good and not have to you know, kick your own ass all <laughs> over the place doing it. Where am I on the world map? Ah, sweet, middle of nowhere. Okay, uh, there's supposed to be a herd of guar around here that I'm supposed to be saving. But I do not see them. Like the band guar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting attacked twice here. Uh-oh. No, stop hitting. Okay, this guy hits faster. Die. Die, Nyx Hound. I think it's a Nyx Hound. Well, you blocks it. Yeah, my block is doing pretty good for me. I don't know uh. why you can get struck by lightning in these games. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Oh, not enough to finish him down. Oh, heavy, heavy armor goes up. Oh. Like making a video, you know, shit that Baller Scuba says. <laughs> like, and it would be full of stuff like, you know, I'm not even gonna lie. 
<laughs> say that a lot or um, some other stuff. I'll be honest. With you. I do say that. I do say that. There's some other stuff, but I just can't think of it right now. <laughs> Got some baller scuba isms. <laughs> uh. God, like, you know, like, I try watching a lot of different LPs, but, you know, like, all of them just don't work out. I've tried, there's, i found a few that I like, you know, everybody has different tastes, but I've probably seen about a hundred different Let's Players. Why is there a naked man over here in the rain? You better give him a coat. <sighs> I'll talk to him. <laughs> this is gonna be awful. Uh, but, yeah. He's like, Gwar stole my clothes and now they're screwing my Gwar. Why is there the word deep in his name? That's why. Whoa, did you check out his package? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I'm trying not to when this enchantment wears off. A foul witch has given me some enchanted disease leading me rooted to the spot. She called it Witch Wither. He's got like leopard print. Like, did, did she make him put that <laughs> on too? <laughs> I don't know. Um. I think I do have a cure paralyzation potion. Do I, do I have a cure paralyzation potion? I have two. You can have one. Damn, the witches here. Oh, cure common disease. Okay, his hat was trapping him there. And now, I, oh no, he gave me his hat. Now he's gonna go kill the the witch. You go have fun. Put on some clothes. Stop staring at me when you, when you have that stuff on, please. Point that thing away from me. <laughs> what is this? Uh, resist frost. Uh, I'll and sell for that. those of you who don't know, there is another thing that you can do in this mod. And I don't know if Baller has explained it to you, but you can switch on like a nude mode. So if you <laughs> take all their clothes, they're nude. <laughs> Yes, you can do that, and no, I did not explain that because I figured I would get requests up and down for it, and we'll see, we'll see. Because I was, yeah, there's, no, there's no way, I'm, there's no way. I'm sorry, I don't care how many requests I get, I'm not doing the nude mod. I'm not yeah. doing a nude run of this game. Do it yourself. <laughs> You'll have to get it yourself. You can also do. Um, I don't even remember what they called it, like uh, immature boy mode or something like that. What? Where all the w all the men are have have clothes on, but all the women are naked. What? Yeah, and then they also have a mod so that you can get genitalia on all the beasts that you come across. And these That's are like the most downloaded mods of all time for Morrowind. I just don't get it. Well. I think it has something to do with, you know, There's just people, like, w when they kill some lady, you know, and they get all excited, they want to take her clothes off and beat it to it, you know? <laughs> like, doesn't that ever happen to you? He gave me the shirt off his back. Wow, you're finding a lot of, like... Why is everybody naked? Am I... Am I over... He over-encumbered me, the dick? How much did he give me? Five shirts... Uh, he gave me quite a bit here. How much is? Drop that worthless shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, jeez. This is like Daniel Steele's like Playland, right? <laughs> now. <laughs> how much? How much is that way? Uh, for 120. Oh, we get rid of that. There we go. I'm still on the lookout for a guar herd here. I have no idea how far it is. I've probably passed it a long time ago. What does it say in your journal? It just says... Okay. Previous... Previous... Jeez. <laughs> this thing is... Yeah. Told me to speak this with Druin, Druline Fallon. Mudcrabs have been bothering her guar. That's uh. very, like, not cool. <laughs> Couldn't they be uh, more specific in the journal so you didn't have to look up all this stuff? No, they never are. Where is it? Uh, is it Sleepers Awake? No. 
That's like which quest is this? House Red Ran. Ah, oh, there we go. House Red Ran. Can't you see? I'm pointing at it. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot see where you point. Trust me, I have tried to point in these videos many times, <laughs> and nobody knows. Like, do you see that thing there? And I point to it on my screen as if you can see that. Like right there. Come on, I'm pointing right at it. That helps. That like might be a guar. I see a couple like guar. Hold it up to the microphone so <laughs> yeah. everybody can see it. <laughs> Put it on camera. Ah, uh, still need to get my webcam working. It's Have you run while. into any of the nice war, or are you still under the impression that they're all evil? The nice what? There are nice war out there. Like there are like weird pack animals. Oh, I I have come across one that doesn't attack me, <laughs> but as far as like helping me out, they haven't done that yet. Uh, yeah, these aren't attacking me. What's up, Guar? Right. What the hell is that? I think there's nothing. Where are you on the world map? Uh, middle of nowhere. An ancestral tomb. <laughs> I've gone oh. as far west as I can. There's no more west. The guy in there is one of your blades buddies. Anyways, you could get training for him if you wanted. I, I, I'm gonna go into the ancestral tomb. I can usually get some goat bone dust in here. Which way? Oh, super. We're going down to a door. Okay, there we go. Ah, a pack rat. Or just a rat. <laughs> just die. Give me some bone dust. There's bone dust, right? Or bone meal. Mmm, bone mm. meal. That's, you know that's the what I can. <laughs> The first time I played this, I did not know how to do the alchemy. And so I looked it up online, and they said that um, if you didn't have the... If you didn't have some of the, the equipment, you didn't have a mortal and pestle and that kind of stuff, you could eat the... You could eat all this stuff, so I just went around into ancestral tombs eating bone meal. Yeah, that's like <laughs> a good idea, kids. Like, don't try that at home. <laughs> because, let me tell you, like, all it takes is one scare, and then you're up all night <laughs> drinking coffee and thinking that you took strychnine. <laughs> we got. It's not fun. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what did that say? Uh. Are filled with obscure bits of cult mumbo jumbo, the ritual for ending of Wrathmen from Fifty Fathers. Frozen and slave past, ripped from the wraith looms under the life weave. Lock tight and earth whip, hold firm and grave fast. That's some heavy metal shit, man. <laughs> That's a metal song right there. Uh, two and a half. Ooh, a ghoul heart. Those are rare. Those are useful. <laughs> I was, f yeah, I, I, I try my best not to. What's up, people? Are you going to oh. kill me? This is going to be fun. I'm not happy with you. I uh, no. Don't be in my tomb. God. They died. Oh, you took that Nord down, man. <laughs> 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 he does look like. Oh man. Oh, and maybe he's not a Nord. I don't know. They're usually like the really tall ones that are a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm done. Okay, that was, what do you guys got up here? This is, this this looks pretty sweet. You got skulls all over the place. You got some shiny stuff. Oh, oh soul jam. Scroll of flame guard. 